Now, there are some interesting things, ideas surrounding this. How long was it, is it believed that Messiah ministered on earth? Three and a half years. You've heard that. Now, there are those who believe that the three and a half, the first three and a half years are fulfilled them, and that they go that he will confirm a covenant for many for one seven as being about the Messiah confirming the covenant, the new covenant, and in the middle of the seven, or in the middle of the, after the end of the three and a half years of ministry, he will put an end to sacrifice and offering because he made a new covenant. So in a sense, that, that is the final sacrifice. It's interesting, but the problem with that, that idea is Messiah didn't confirm a covenant for a seven-year period, number one. There's no seven-year period in the new covenant that we know of. He did make a covenant that's not for seven years, it's forever. Second, though his sacrifice could be seen as the final sacrifice, he didn't put an end to the sacrificial system at that time. It went on till the end of the temple. Third, it says this will happen in the middle of a seven-year period, but there's no seven-year period where Messiah does this in the middle of. And if he died around, somewhere around the year 30 AD, there would have to be a covenant to go up or to go up to about 33 or 34 AD. We know nothing about that. So for one to say it's in the middle of the seven-year period, you got to have a seven-year period. We don't have that for the first coming. And beyond that, it goes on to say, and at the temple, he will set up an abomination that causes desolation until the end that is decreed. Now, Messiah, that's clearly not talking about the Messiah. Messiah is not setting up an abomination. The Bible has to be read in context. When a pronoun like he or she is used and then it goes on, it's referring to whoever it referred to before. He doesn't change, it doesn't say he, and then the next sentence says he again, and it's a different he. And so it's obviously, this is speaking about someone else. Because it already spoke about Messiah, and it spoke about him, he will be cut off. But then it says, so who is it speaking about? You can't just have a he. It, it speaks about something. It, it was just before it said what? The people of the ruler who will come, will destroy the city. Now, then it says, he. So who's the he? The he is the ruler who is yet to come. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.